Uh, Brian just has all his stuff sh shipped in. Right? I don't, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. That doesn't make cracks. I'm like, oh, heaven forbid, they got to slice their own meat there. <laughs> all right. I'm going to slice some meat right now, guys. Here in the kitchen, I'm working on some great fajitas here. And I want to start, first of all, with the vegetables. I have peppers in here, and I wanted to show you. This is a little trick you learn. See the sweet peppers here? They were like a fraction of the cost of the colored bell peppers. And they're sweet, just like a bell pepper is. So buy those packages instead of spending, you know, a buck fifty per bell pepper that may be red or yellow. You can buy a package there for it all. Now, also what I've done is I dehydrate my own onions. And so I had a whole bag of onions that was beginning to spoil. And I'm like, oh, can't do that. So I cut them up, dehydrated them, along with a whole package of garlic cloves as well as some jalapenos. Then you just take those, you just grind them up. They create your own little powder that you can use. And that's exactly what I'm going to use to season the fajita vegetables. And so we'll get that on there. A lot of people ask about my spice grinder. It is just a coffee grinder. That's all it is. At the grocery stores, you can buy them if they sell little appliances like this. Simple little things to have in the kitchen that work. Let me move that over here now so it's out of the way here. I also have a round uh, roast here. You can use any kind of meat. Of course, the flank or skirt steaks work best for fajitas, but that doesn't mean you have to use them. And so this is a round roast that I actually cooked yesterday. Look how beautiful that is. So I'm going to cut it into some uh, fairly thick slices here, and then I'm going to cut these into strips. And these I will saute on the grill here with those vegetables. And when they're done, we're going to pair them off on some corn tortilla shells, uh, tortillas with some chopped green onions and cabbage, guys. This truly is an explosion, and I'll explain what I mean by that <laughs> when I come back. Okay, thanks, explosion Brian. Explosion of the taste buds. Ex yeah. Won't be a pickleball. Card. Always doing good. <laughs> okay, Chef Brian's always doing good with food. Always. I'm glad to see him retire. Go enjoy your life yeah. the rest of your life. Absolutely. All right, maybe make some of these fajitas and enjoy them because these are amazing. All right, what I've done here for my explosion. I actually melted some Velveeta cheese. Ooh, look out. It's very complicated. And a cup of of salsa together, prepared salsa in here. And you've all done that before, but what I'm going to do is actually serve it on the bottom of each fajita. I love it. All right, let's just do that. And I've made some chips there with a fajita seasoning on them. You can even take some of this yummy cheese and just kind of spread over the top of them if you want for some nachos. And then we're going to start off here with some of the meat. Going to go on to there. There's the sauteed steak. And oh my word, it smells so good. Oh, I don't mind if it drops in there because we're just going to put it on some more cheese. And then you'll pick these up and eat them like a taco, like you would a fajita. And then add some of the vegetables onto there and top it off with a little bit of sour cream. Uh, more salsa if you so desire. Oh, these are just such a great idea for dinner. Simple, easy, delicious fun little things and if you don't have any roast left over that you want to use on these just you know grill up a little steak if you want to that works just fine as well now here is some sour cream to go on top of it and then what i'm going to do to completely finish them off is of course sprinkle them with some cheese i love more cheese on my fajitas so there's a little sour cream on there you can top them off with some yummy chopped green onions as well as some cabbage that i have here for a little extra crunch it's however you so desire, guys. You can head on over to KUTV.com for the recipe, or you can go to my website, cookingwithchefbrian.com, for the recipe. Enjoy a little bit of a salsa and fajitas and kaboom explosion. Yes. It is a fiesta, too. Beautiful. Yeah, it really